You know, a lot of people ask, you know, what is ozone water? You know, you may be thinking you've heard of like vitamin water or uh, some of these other drinks. Ozone water is not something that you just get, uh, say, at a grocery store or at a gas station. It, it's actually when you take a flask, such as the one right over here, um, you fill it with water and you're going to actually run ozone directly through that. It's going to, uh, in a sense, uh, create a hyperoxygenation of that water specifically that then you can drink, um, which creates obviously benefit to the whole body. So ozone water um, can be utilized in different ways. One of the main benefits and utilization for ozone water uh, for drinking uh, can help with, uh, honestly, if you just have upset stomach, if you want to increase uh, oxygen systemically, it can actually have an effect there. Um, swishing around in your mouth can actually help with uh, the mouth flora as well. Um, you can also use ozone water specifically, and once you've ozonated it, you can actually put it on uh, different wounds. So actually for washing or flushing, uh, because it has you know antipathogenic effects. Um, again, it even does help with microcirculation. It can have somewhat of a systemic effect uh, when drinking, but it's not one of the major reasons why we're actually being drinking uh, ozone water. It's not meant for a systemic effect. It may have some. Uh, so there is a process of making ozone water. Uh, you can't just buy ozone water uh, directly from a store. My recommendation is using distilled water uh, or filtered water specifically. Um, you're going to put it into the flask, and that flask is directly attached to the ozone generator. You're going to basically bubble uh, that water with ozone. Uh, for about every eight ounces, you're gonna do about 12, uh, 12 minutes of uh, ozone uh, application or uh, ozone exposure to the water. You may be sitting here asking yourself, what is ozone water used for? Which is a great question. Typically, the majority of the people that are utilizing ozone water or utilizing it for like an upset stomach, stomach ulcers. Uh, I even think that sometimes like acid reflux, you could actually have a benefit from utilizing ozone water um, for different symptoms like that. Utilizing ozone water, how often should you do it? Again, what is it even used for? The majority of the research that's been shown is that ozone water is utilized for stomach infections, stomach ulcers. That's where most of the foundation of it has been established. How often? Uh, typically, I would say just eight ounces a day. I have known people that have uh, utilized it up to a gallon a day, but uh, I don't think that's necessary, uh, but as long as you're using it on a consistent basis, eight ounces every single day, even if you do a glass in the morning, glass at night, there is some research, obviously, again, on stomach ulcers and uh, stomach infections. There's a lot of anecdotal uh, information out there of people that have had um, benefits from utilizing uh, ozone water for other things. And again, anecdotal just meaning that they had a response, they're sharing that response. It's not that the research stands behind that. Um, it does take a lot of money and a lot of time to develop specific research based on specific conditions. Um, but there is a, a tremendous amount of anecdotal uh, benefit also to utilizing ozone water. Mm -hmm.